Segment 6 Control Panel Settings Let's dive into the Settings menu. To start, just touch the Set key on the home screen. Here we see the basic settings in the Muse Control Panel. Notice that at the bottom of the screen, we see the left and right arrows and a number that looks like one half. This is page one of two. The options on page one of the settings menu are camera, Wi-Fi, advanced mode, array, and advanced settings. Pressing the right arrow key takes us to page two where we find general settings and system information. Let's go back to page one and look at the options. Camera. Touching the camera button opens the camera calibration settings menu. This is where the camera can be adjusted or calibrated for precise scanning of printed registration marks. The options here are scan, scan settings, adjust, and offset. We will discuss these features in more detail in segment 15. Wi-Fi. Touching the Wi-Fi button opens the Wi-Fi setup menu. This is where you can connect your Muse vinyl cutter to your local wireless network. This requires access to the network password. We will show you how to connect to Wi-Fi in segment 13. Advanced Mode The Advanced Mode menu allows you to control where the Muse blade holder goes when a cut job is completed. The default setting, as seen here, is to end. This means that when a cut job is completed, the blade will go to where it stopped cutting. Touching the To Start button changes this and moves the blade back to the origin point. Touching the To Left button will cause the blade to move to the left side of the platen when cutting is complete. Array. Touch Array to access the Array Settings menu. This feature allows you to turn one image file into a pattern of copies on vinyl. Here, you can enter the number of rows and columns desired and change the amount of space between each row and each column. This is especially useful when cutting from the U-Disk function. You can access one image file from the U-Disk and cut a pattern of several copies of it using the array settings. We will show you how to set an array of copies in segment 10. System information. On page two of the settings menu, we find system information. This is where you will find the information about your cutter's model, firmware, and baud rate. This page is generally not needed unless you are working with a technical issue and are asked for this information by Cyan Warehouse Product Support. Next, we'll look at the general settings menu. You can either go back to the home screen or touch the back arrow and access it from page two of the settings menu.